I'm Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I'm uh, working on a monojet one barrel. And uh, I want to talk about the uh, accelerator pump circuit a little bit and how it works. Uh, this is the uh, mechanism that operates it from the throttle. So when you pump the gas, it pulls the pump down like that via the pump arm here and you see this little slot down in here that's where it fills so when the pump comes up it fills with fluid through this slot pumps it out through the main discharge which is right here there's a check ball in there and then it goes out with, with the top on it it goes out this little slot into this little teeny hole right here and uh, so you want, want to uh, make sure that blow some air through here make sure that hole is real clear because if it's not you're going to have uh, hesitation problems. So what the check ball is for here is that when you're not pumping the gas the check ball is seated and uh, keeps the fuel from getting sucked in by the vacuum of the engine of the manifold through here. Without the check ball it's going to weep seep gas in. So, so let's say you're at idle and you see gas seeping in through this hole uh, that's not good. That hole right there, little hole. That shouldn't be happening. So you m probably need to try to seat the check ball, make sure there's a spring in there. And I'm going to show that to you here. See, so you got this little T that holds it all in there. It's just staked down a little bit. You got the little brass colored spring that goes on top of the check ball. And then you have the check ball. Okay, so I'm going to do some testing here, and I, what I use is some uh, mineral spirits, and we'll fill the bowl up. And we won't fill clear up, but mostly. And we're going to pump this. And you see right away, uh, gas went into the accelerator pump well. And then when I pumped it, it came out right here through the main discharge. Now if the top was on, it would force it through this little hole. And so we know that part is working. Gas is coming out. Okay. Now uh, let's put the check ball in there. And let's see, what do I have? It would be best if I had something, a brass drift punch or something to hold that ball down. But I'm just going to hold the ball, put a little bit of pressure on the ball, and then pump the gas and sure enough that seems to hold now if you pump hard enough it's going to force some gas through but so you just want a little bit of pressure should hold the gas so you know the check ball is seated um, if you think the check ball is uh, leaking uh, use a, a, a find a brass drift punch and just tap it gently uh, and that'll seat it now this is uh, your you're tapping it into the trough that sits into the flow bowl and this is pretty soft metal and the uh, check ball is stainless steel and it's hard so it's going to uh, uh, it's going to form itself pretty easily uh, what I'm trying to tell you is not to not to beat on it too hard uh, you could get the check ball stuck in there or get the malformed Hole. And if that happens, you get it messed up, you're going to have to replace it. Now, if the check ball is frozen in there, you can't get it out, um, heat it right here, turn it upside down, heat it right here, and uh, tap on the carburetor against your workbench. And uh, once you apply enough heat, that check ball will fall out. So that's how you get that out. Anyway, um, that should cover the auxiliary pump. That's how it works. And that's how you can test it to make sure it's working. Uh, also, uh, a quick test is, uh, which I explain on the website, is to uh, simply, with the engine off, look down the top of your carburetor, pump the gas, make sure there's a little squirt of gas coming out of this hole right here. If not, you got an accelerator pump problem. All right. Thank you for watching.